Are you getting started in the boutique business journey? Do you need some tips, insights, or just information to help you grow? If that's you, then keep on watching. Mr. Creator. Oh. Hi, I'm Lillian Rita, and welcome to Boutique, where you can expect step-by-step -step guides, tips, just basically anything about boutique businesses. Let me quickly but briefly summarize to you my boutique business journey till now. Around 2013, I opened a shoe boutique where I was selling some really, really cute, stylish shoes. You see this photo? That was me. A week after opening that shoe boutique, I'm telling you, I was on top of the world, yeah? Finally, getting to start my own business was not something that I took lightly. So I opened a Facebook page, by then it was called Rita's Wardrobe, took photos of my shoes, then uploaded. I think I put a sample photo here of what I used to sell back then. I was lucky enough to find it in the archives. So what I used to do was to lay a white sheet on the bed, put the shoes, then take photos. I remember day one, I didn't sell anything. Day two, at least I got inquiries. The third day, I got my first order that was in UST. I woke up very early, delivered my order, got paid. And the subsequent weeks, I got orders here and there and eventually cleared my 10 pair of shoes, which I started with. But who is Rita? The moment I got the money, all the money, I decided to treat myself <laughs> in the name of YOLO you only live once so I went I remember to super cosmetics was it super cosmetics yeah bought everything that I was admiring back then took myself out for lunch hey <laughs> bought airtime here and there and a couple of things and before I know it all the money was gone like gone 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 and my business closed in less than five and a half, approximately at around five and a half months why am i telling you my story it's because i want you to know that i made silly mistakes while opening my business in short i didn't have the fundamentals any those basics that you need to start your business your boutique business and it actually cost me you see i closed the business which maybe if i had those that basic foundation i would have grown into maybe a big brand you know anyway i pinched myself Vizuri sana went to the drawing board and told myself the next time i start a business i will do the basic i will do thorough research i will just make sure that i get mentorship i get information from people who are ahead of me so from thorough research getting mentorship from people who are ahead of me shout out to my cousin who has a thriving baby shop she really really has mentored me in so many different ways i was able to come up with a blueprint fast forward to 2020 I opened an online thrift store where I was specializing in women's clothing. I was selling stuff such as denim jackets, palazzo pants, jumpsuits, and all those good stuff. Through the thrift store, I've learned a lot. I've met so many amazing people, and the thrift store actually gave birth to a clothing line. I now have a clothing line with the name Timeless by Rita. Story about the clothing line will be on another day. What enabled me start that thrift store on our farm foundation is the blueprint which I was talking to you about earlier on. Maybe you're out there, you just started your boutique business journey. You need someone to hold your hand and just give you a, some little direction here and there. Or maybe you're aspiring to open that boutique business and you don't have someone to hold your hand. I, Lillian Rita, is there for you. 
have actually opened Boutique Space Academy in honor of that who is getting started or that who aspires to get started and they need someone to hold their hand. Boutique Space Academy is on Instagram. I'll put the link to the page down below. At Boutique Space Academy, I will be sharing with you insights, tips, guides, and even templates that will help you grow your boutique business or rather bring your new boutique business to life. It doesn't matter whether you're operating a thrift store, whether you're selling brand new outfits, information which I'm going to share with you is relevant. It cuts across anybody in the boutique business. I know what it feels like to ask for that general information when you're just getting started in your boutique business, but somehow you get brushed off or if someone gives you information, it's half-baked. According to my school of thought, sharing information does not reduce your knowledge. It does not reduce your knowledge. In fact, it actually makes you become better become an expert in what you're doing i'm actually willing to hold your hand guide you through with what i know what i do not know i'll just tell you that one i do not know one thing that i know for sure is that if you start something on a firm foundation not just the boutique business if you start something on a firm foundation in that you know to you know how to focus on the things that will really help you scale up you will be able to navigate through anything. I don't know what your business goals are. Maybe you are opening your boutique to supplement your income. Maybe you're opening that boutique to get money to grow another business. I don't know. But one thing for sure is that there is money to be made in the boutique business. And if you take your Biashara seriously, you can actually achieve your dreams so let's meet at boutique space academy on instagram share tips share ideas and just learn learn and scale our boutique businesses my joy is to help you scale up and if i can help one boutique business owner scale up that will be my joy that i will count as a they well achieved, you know. And like I've said, I'll only share what's in my capacity. I will just tell you, just look for someone to assist you. So welcome to Boutique Space Academy once again. Feel free. That's all for today. See you next Wednesday as we talk about Boutique Business. Bye-bye.